everyone. Thank you for joining me. As you know, today is day two, session one. Um, I'm really excited, even though I'm still tired, but I am more excited because God just keeps, just, he's so good. But anyway, um, yesterday I was speaking of, um, my, uh, experience testimony with dealing with, um, the spirit and with, with, uh, the dark spirits that they have sent me. Um, you could look at that video if you want reference. But there was one point that I didn't make. Um, that's our portion. Um, one of the things that is very important for us to understand, and that's our part, right? That's how we show that we can be able to... Um, walk like christ right because <laughs> that's the point um I, okay so my the people that had given me this i told you they were close to me um family you know i'm not gonna pinpoint um any names or anything it's not important because the problem is is that it was spirits right that had nothing really to do with them it's spirits that are gonna attack you it took me a long time to really grasp that right so it would be horrible if i retaliate and even questioning what was it that they sent me that's not god like and you know someone else would be like oh my god you went through so much how dare they what was the reason i mean all these questions are of course something that's going to go through anyone right but um it's just not worth it right because they're family you know and people err because it's not their error in in some way or another you know they should have been clear enough or at least know enough about god not to do things like that you know, you can't hide that there's some people that do ugly things, right? Or they're easier to swing that way. I don't know, because this, I could never understand that kind of mind, because I would never harm anyone or do anything like that. So, with that being said, I just wanted to complete that. Um, that's a way that you could show that you have character, right? Um, walking in wisdom with Jesus Christ Almighty, right? Because he would have, he, he would have just rebuked their spirits and get the get their his family members in order, and maybe that's something that, with the experiences that I'm going through right now, maybe that's something that I will have to go through then. But anyway, that's not the purpose of this video. We need to. Well, actually, we have ten minutes. Um, to start prayer, but of course, let's just bring in the the Holy Spirit, glorious Father in heaven, holy, <clears throat> our Father who art in heaven, glory be to thy name, thy kingdom will come, thy will will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil ones, amen. Okay, um, so then we could also do our psalms. Let's finish off our psalms. Um, oh, I have to also speak. Um, yesterday I did read uh, Jeremiah chapter 6. Um, like I said, I'm still learning how I'm going to interact with you guys. So um, today for the evening session, I will be breaking down Jeremiah chapter 6. Hopefully, it's going to be the first time I do it like that. I mean, I've done it for myself 101 times, but to, to to bring it to someone else, oh my God, you know. But it's okay. Um, it's going to come front. Um, and I also, because this is a learn, I'm a learning process, um, I see that it's better to just take a couple of verses and then find an interpretation, but I have to like I said, I have to get myself in order. This 
came about a minute, from one minute to another. But we're going to finish our psalm. Um, and we are at Psalm 1. Yesterday we did 1 to 3. But today we're going to do 4 and through 6. So, and it's actually it's so wild because what's going on right now, this is perfect. Not so the wicked. Okay. And I hate to start on um, not so the wicked, they are like ch chaff that the winds blow away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in judgment, nor sinners in assembly of the righteousness. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Right. I, I think I want to do the whole thing again, right? Because we need to. Blessed is the one who who does not walk in the step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, in the law law of the Lord, and who medi, medi, meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in session, and whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. I hope I said that right. It's C-H-A-F-F. -F. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sin is in the assembly of the righteousness. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. That's why I wanted to read the whole thing, because sometimes you got to read the whole thing in order for... I don't know how people... Well, I'm not talented like that, but hopefully one day I will. All right. So, we have six minutes to our prayer. And um, we could start, of course, just putting the um, our purpose. You know, the purpose is to heal our land. And we recognize that we must. And I'm just going to say, it's, um, I don't want to put my own words into it. That's something that's going to take me a while. Um, 2 Chronicles 714. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven, forgive their sin, and will heal their land. You know, sometimes there's just things that you just cannot, um, ex cannot change because I, in other words, what I'm trying to say is that he we're asking clearly right i mean he's telling us clearly that we need to humble ourselves and seek his face right so he can help us because he's all powerful all knowing he's omnipotent he's everywhere right so we just making it harder on ourselves. We just have to learn how to humble ourselves for our gracious glory. He is just, our Father is so precious to us. Um, let me see what else we could cover. I already made the announcements. Um, I'm gonna go over chapter six. Oh, I could tell you a little bit about what I went through yesterday. Um, I did throw out that wreath. So horrible. Cause I'm and I wrapped it up as much as I could with like three gar with two garbage bags. But the thing is, is like it stood in my head, you know, that it gave me a headache. And then after I um came back, I tried to cleanse, but whatever it is, it's just so strong that I, I guess my father's working with me because I'm I'm fasting. I don't think, yeah, I'm I'm in fasting, you know. I'm hoping that everything will come out soon.
because I'm just um, so we got three more minutes um, and so there's a lot of turmoil in the world today um, so again today I will not forget to say that this is a global prayer but we want to focus of course where there is a lot of trouble and our people are suffering um, one of the places that is going through a lot right now is Ottawa. God bless those beautiful people that are standing up. I could only pray that is the hand of God. That is the hand of God that's with those good people. And, you know, I have to say that it's their humility. Those people, they went out at minus 21 degrees to give, um, to just give support to the truckers while they were going out there there was storms that was crazy and i don't know about you i've been a, i was a new yorker for a long time and that cold was enough for me just imagine minus 21 degrees and the support they humbled themselves they pray and you hear half of these people all they do is mention God, the glory of God, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. So they're God's people. That's our brothers and sisters. We need to pray. We need to come together. If you can't be there, then fine. Let's pray. We have a seven o'clock. Our God is calling us for a seven o'clock prayer. At in the morning, seven o'clock prayer in the evening. It's not a long prayer. I mean, it is kind of long. It's very detailed. Just like my father, he details everything to the T. And um, I must obey. So we are at 6.59, waiting for that minute um, to come up so I could be able to throw that energy. Even if I'm doing it by myself, I know with the will of my father, I know that people are going to join in because my channel is going to be heard and we're going to be doing live sessions seven o'clock prayer seven o'clock prayer um and i'm excited i'm excited to be part of such a big thing um, i'm a little tired like i said i still i'm going through the challenges last night wasn't too easy but it was fun. It's seven o'clock. Oh, let's go and pray. So we are asking your permission. Put on to put on the full armor of God. For his pre precepts for preparation are likely the splendid armor of heavenly armed soldiers so that we may be able to successfully stand against all schemes and the strategies and deceits of, de of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, put on the complete armor of God so that you will be able to successfully resist and stand firm in your place, fully prepared, immobile, victorious. So stand firm and hold your ground, having tightened the, wa the wide bands of truth around your waist and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and upright heart, personal integrity and morals. And having stopped, excuse me, and having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace in preparation to face the enemy with the firm foot of stability and the readiness produced by the good news. Above all, lift up the protective shield of faith with which you can extinguish all flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God with all prayer and petition. Pray for the, let me just emphasize that. Okay, please. Let me just emphasize that. Okay, because it says very clearly here, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I just wanted to emphasize that for a minute, but let's keep going. 
with all prayer and petition pray for the healings of god's people's mind to further restore god in their hearts to then be able to save their souls all through the miracle of our glorious father in heaven through his beloved son jesus christ our savior and now i'm um petitioning to please god almighty help us help us heal our land please have patience please let our people have patience i am um i am pleading um i'm requesting for more for for your mighty hand to be on top of the people in ottawa the people in canada may they have patience to endure may they god bless them please keep them safe may they pray may they come to get i mean they are together i i just want your mighty hand on top of them please god i petition i petition for them for your mighty hand to be on top of them um paris also is having conflict um ukraine is also having conflict um israel is also having conflict but i my plea is for it's globally please heal our land glorious father in heaven please heal our land thank you so much um at all times on every occasion and in every season in the spirit and with this view stay alert with all preserve perseverance and petition interceding in prayer for all god's people and pray for me that words may not, may be given to me when i open my mouth to proclaim boldly the spirit the mystery of the good news of salvation for which i am an ambassador in chains and pray in proclaiming it i may speak boldly and courageously as i should every time i read this it's just like it gets it gets stronger well i'm gonna keep this short it's at 17 10 i'm gonna i'm gonna keep trying my best to keep these videos <coughs> as little as short as possible thank you so much have a blessed day may god bless you thank you thank you thank you glorious father for listening to us thank you thank you and i know he's gonna he, i know things are gonna i know we're gonna i know this prayer is gonna go out may god be with you may god walk with you may god bless everyone that's in turmoil right now <sighs> He loves us. He loves us. If he didn't love us, he wouldn't be warning us to start getting ready. And I believe that's this prayer. God, I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Um, have a great day today. And bendición.